Hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Such a pleasure Hi, to have you here in London. My pleasure. Of this incredible film. Um, maybe for people who aren't familiar with Damsel, you could give us a bit of a, an intro. What can people expect when they watch your film? Well, Damsel is a classic tale, a fantasy tale, but with a modern twist, with some sort of surprise about the way that we treat the stories, the story about the way that we treat, especially the characters, you know, because in some ways, Damsel is kind of breaking the stereotypes and giving a new kind of con perception for these kind of characters in the story. I would say that what one of the things that I really was something really important for me when I read the script the first time was to feel this character characters so human and, and and that kind of humanity that you could see throughout the movie in all of them was really important for me and and that's something that makes Damsel unique and and special. And the, yeah, I, just as you say, I mean, ostensibly you have all the trappings of kind of a classic adventure fairy tale, um, you know, five breathing dragons, princes and princesses. Um, but, you know, very quickly it's all turned on its head and we get a much more kind of feminist reworking, if you like, of some of those ideals. So why was that so exciting to you to, to kind of tell that story? Because I think, you know, when, when you do these kind of movies, I got the impression that you have to speak loudly to new generations, you know. And I got the impression that we had to adapt these kind of stories into these, you know, new movie goers that they are kind of keen to absorb anything. But it's important to to touch these stories with that kind of contem contemporary feeling because I think then you feel more connected with those stories and you feel that they are representing you in many ways. So that's why for me it was really important to shape this story with that kind of sense of, you know, contemporary feeling, which because at the end of the day, it's a matter of that, that you have to be reflected in the in the movies that you watch, you know. And of course, you've got a phenomenal cast across the board, but really it's all hinging on Millie Bobby Brown yeah. um, as Elodie. Uh, obviously complete, you know, put up, was put on the map by her work in Stranger Things and it's since been, you know, going from strength to strength, um, doing things like a Nona Holmes, but this is quite a different role for her yet again. Why was she the right person, and and what did it mean to you to have her on board? I mean, it was a it was a dream to have her on board, you know, because in some ways, she had she had the the courage to accept the challenge of making this movie. This movie wasn't easy. It 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 implied a very physical effort. It implied to accept such an emotional, intense journey inside of the caves. So I was so happy when I knew that she wanted to make the movie and to represent this kind of new princess. And also the, the way that she was committed with the, with the journey, the, the way that she was accepting, you know, that the camera has to be so close to her. Because, you know, one of the things that I was so obsessed was showing to the audience in every single step what she's feeling. And I need to be with the camera so close to her eyes, which implies sometimes to be in the middle of the action and you have to shoot with the actress some action scenes, which is really complicated as well for her. But she was accepting everything that I said, and and she was kind of, you know, jumping in the water, <laughs> and in in any sense. So that that was the life to me. That was music for my ears, and and I and I had the privilege to work with such a young actress, but at the same time so profoundly committed with this movie, which is a is a gift. And of course, the supporting cast as well. Um, Quite a few amazing veterans amongst yep. them, you know, from Robin Wright, Ray Winston, Angela Bassett, I mean, particularly Robin Wright. I mean, she is absolutely formidable uh, as this queen. Yeah. So obviously, like having having these other actors. It was the again, it was a dream, you know. There's a scene in the movie that when that, that I would like to remind, which is when Lady Bayford, Angela Bassett, and and Queen Isabella, Robin Wright, they have this kind of strange, weird encounter. And I remember to be in the monitor shooting the scene and I was kind of pitching myself saying, really, you have Angela Bassett and Robin Wright shooting together and <laughs> colliding to each other in this kind of kind of women duel that they were doing that scene. It, you know, it was fantastic. I mean, I was so excited and, and, and over the moon when I knew that Robin and Angela would be in the movie. And of course, you know, it is a fantasy adventure. 
So it's nothing, you know, so simple about bringing that world to life. I mean, when from taking that from the script to this incredible film that we see, you know, the stunning visuals from, from the castles and, of course, all the effects it must have taken to bring the fire breathing dragon to life, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what was your approach in that sense? And I guess getting that great balance of be, feeling very immersed in that world, but it all feels very grounded as well. Yeah, I think it's really important when you make a fantasy movie to make it so real as much as you can, you know? Because that's the way that the audience is gonna feel the, the experience. They are gonna be immersed in the story if you shoot it in a very real way. But that takes time, you know? And that takes a lot of people working in a very precise way. But you know, you have to be patient when you make a movie like this one. You have to wait very long time to see the final result, you know? And you know, that's the process. And, and you have to accept and assume that you're gonna live with this movie for many years as I did, almost five years in my life. But now that I'm sharing this uh, beautiful story with everybody, I'm so excited because I, I'm kind of feeling something really special. I, I really feel that we're sharing to the world something unique and special, and it, it's completely worth what all the time that I, that I invested in this story. And in the making of it, were there some scenes or some moments that were particularly challenging? I know you were shooting in Portugal. I don't know how much you were doing on location, how much was kind of on set. Um, or watching it back now, do you have a scene that you're most proud of? Every single scene in this movie was really challenging, to be honest with you, because it implies, you know, a very intense journey in all the levels. But I would say that, you know, shooting with Millie in very tight caves, mm -hmm. knowing that she had claustrophobia, was a huge challenge for me and for her. And we made like a team together to make her feel safe and, and, and comfortable. But it was almost like a therapy for her, you know, to face her fear of claustrophobia walking through those caves, you know? And, and I was there trying to help her as much as I can. So knowing that, you know, shooting those scenes was kind of a big thing, you know? But I think she did it really well and, and the result is noticeable that that we had a great time doing it together. And it does look like she was actually doing a lot of the stunts, you know? Yeah, like she I did mean, it. She, you know, that, that journey she goes on, like the emotional journey, but also, you know, yeah. totally badass. Like, yeah. she looks like yeah. she's pulling off a lot of stuff there. Yeah, because we had an agreement in the beginning that, you know, I wanted to shoot the movie in, a, in this kind of realistic way. And that implies that the camera has to be so close to the actor, tracking the actor all the way through. As you can imagine, that implies that there are several beats of, of action that the actress has to play. So Millie was willing to do it and we did it and it was beautiful. It was great. And in terms of what people can take away, I mean, I guess, as we were discussing right at the beginning there, you know, it, it's this kind of immersive fantasy adventure, but, you know, you are prodding at some, you know, important issues, you know, sort of using this almost as like, you know, a way of interrogating, you know, the sacrifices women are supposed to make, yeah. um, you know, in general, you know, going back through history, but also in some respects still today, you know, in, in terms of what they have to do in th their expectations in society. Um, and she goes on this journey and takes agency over that and actually, you know, saves herself. So yeah. I think there's kind of an important message in there. It is, it is. That's why I think this movie is going to speak loudly to new generations, because I think we are reflecting in the story, you know, the new values that we have in our society. I think this, mo this movie is honoring women in every single level, you know, and, and to me it was also something really personal, because I, I, I really feel that, you know, the first person that literally infected me with the idea of making movies and and my passion is coming from my mother. So in some ways, Damsel as well is a, is a movie about mothers and motherhood, you know. And in terms of looking at your career, um, you know, working more in like thrillers, things like that, 28 weeks later, mm -hmm. um, and I've worked on something like this. Where do you see this fits in with your kind of filmography and what do you hope to be doing next? I know there were some murmurs of Sword in the Stone, but I don't know if that's kind of on ice. I mean, I think this movie fits in, in my career and something that if you see all my movies, that it's always there, which is a family drama. Damsel is a family drama, you know, and, and in fact, it's a family drama not only about one, it's about several families in the story that they are intertwining to each other. About what I'm going to do next, I don't know, to be honest. I'm still, you know, <laughs> finishing this and promoting <laughs> this. I, I, I would like to stop for a while and think about it, but there is a story that is tempting me a lot. And it's kind of a um, romantic thriller and, and it's a genre that I would like to do, you know, because in some ways I would like to do almost like an honor to the first movie that I watched when I was a kid. And that literally, you know, pushed me into the idea of making movies. It was Notorious from Alfred Hitchcock. 
And since I watched that movie, I said, I have to do a romantic thriller. So that idea would, uh, was lingering, you know, for many years. And maybe I'm, I'm going to do it now. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Well, thank you so much for sharing all that with me. Can't wait for everyone else to see Damsel and look forward to hearing from about your next projects. Thanks thank so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.